and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Nami. That's right, we got a very interesting combination of champions to start our day off. We are playing over in Ranked with these. This is a deck that uh, was made by a viewer, Delphinus, and we got two viewer submitted uh, decks today. Uh, who said they had been playing this deck a decent amount and doing okay with it over in Ranked. Uh, it was from right before whenever Jace came out, but I don't think that, that uh, Jace would really affect this deck too much. But basically we're going to be a Soraka deck, like we're, you know, kind of like Soraka Tom Kench, where we have, you know, these Bilgewater self-harm units be able to damage themselves, like Lounging Lizard here, and then we'll use our Star Spring and our Soraka to be able to reheal them. And, you know, they, they really help enable our Star Spring and our Soraka. But then instead of using Tom Kench for our secondary champion, we're going to be using Nami, where Sir, Tom Kench just kind of controls the board, right? It can kind of eat stuff, but then you have to, like, use a lot of spells to protect it and heal it and all that kind of stuff. Where Nami, whenever we're using our spells, we're going to be making large units and attacking and getting aggressive. So we can either kind of sit back with Star Spring or get aggressive with Nami. Nami in particular pairs well with Elusives. And so like Elusives like Lounging Lizard and Zap Sprayfin, uh, those can get lots of power. Also gonna have a couple of copies of Mariah Great Mother in here because the other thing about Soraka decks is usually like with Soraka, you draw lots of cards, right? Like you level up your Soraka, now you're drawing an extra card every round. And so you get to draw lots of cards and then you add that in with like Pill Cascade and Guiding Touch that are already drawing cards. And so, you know, it's like, what do we do with all these cards? Well, you know, Obviously, Nami loves having lots of cards, because then you're buffing up stuff quite a bit. Also, if we're going to be drawing lots of cards, a card like Mariah Great Mother could be really nice, because then we'll be able to go find those spells that we are creating, uh, since we do draw a decent amount of cards. So this looks like a pretty interesting list. So let's give it a try. We're going to you know, just uh, take it right on over to Ranked, and play five games over there. And let's see how we do a Soraka Nami. And so we'll see how, like, you know, fast speed removal with, like, the Shock Blast fast speed, how that works out. Okay, this hand looks good. I think I'm just going to keep it. What are we playing against? Poppy Ziggs? Yeah. Good to do some block in. We got our Nami. Because I think that, like, round one, round two, I'm probably just going to save spell mana to help Nami. Then we can play, like, I don't know, Soraka on three. They can block. And then the Fortune Croaker can come in later to um, do some damage to the Soraka. We shall leave our own destiny. From all the regions we are one. All right, so they got a, a strong start. No one's the wiser. For gold, I listen. What wondrous All right, double fortune croaker. So I can Cascade here on this Fortune Croaker to help that out. I'm I'm a little worried about uh, Ravenous Flock. Time to enjoy the night sky. Okay. Fine, okay. Kinda wanna play a spell so we can like play Nami and um a tune. You leave me no choice. I'm not sure. With Let's just go in and attack. Okay, 
Get rid of the stone stackers. All right, cool, cool. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Play Star Spring, our Soraka levels up. End of round, or it's just get like Nami and play. The, the only problem with playing like Star Spring is that you only have two blockers for four, four potentially like five or six attackers. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I think we need another blocker. War Mason, reporting for duty. We just need a blocker. Clear it out. Everything's in place. You pay first. All right, taking a lot of damage. So obviously we can Astral Protection that, which is not bad, but then I only get... Alright, so there's Ebb, then Flow, then Ebb and Flow. So we'd only get to Flow. We wouldn't get to Ebb and Flow. I, that's probably... I don't know, it's probably worth it. I'm glad it wasn't fervor. Let the tide carry you. All right, so we don't get to ebb and flow, so we don't don't get to heal again. Draws a card. Take heart. Mm. Definitely hoping for guiding touch. Me, 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 me. Gotta go with the flow. Guiding touch. Sweet. We are united. All right. Well, we have four blockers for their four attackers. So, I think I'm just going to pass, because then we bank two more spell mana to level up Nami. I guess so. It'd be nice to get that Star Spring in play, but it just doesn't do very much. Okay, so now they have five attackers. Now I need five blockers. It's a lot of impact, though. A lot of impact. Oh, they just drew a decimate. That's gonna kill me. Okay. That's a great. That was like one of the best draws we could have. So now we can get the double healing. Cool. Killed an impact unit. Very good. Oh, man. They had another one of those in hand. And that decimate was really good top deck for them. Alright, so we're going down to... Ugh, we're going down to two. Round start deal two to me, so this is gonna die at round start anyway. No matter what I do, so I might as well just block like there. You are better than this. Yeah, because that thing just dies at round start. Ugh, down to two. So hopefully no fervor. One spell mana away there. 
Uh, might as well play this Fortune Croaker, draw a card first, right before attacking. Let's see, because I attack, they block the two four powers. They're taking six. And... Uh, what? I play, like, a Sunblessed Vigor that makes it seven. Pale Cascade makes it eight. But I can't really make it nine. So might as well play this and draw a card. Wow, another decimate. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. Yeah, I guess they got us. Man, that's too bad. That was a a game that we wouldn't usually lose, but triple decimate that just does so much damage. And then obviously all the, those impacts, right? We took uh, what like six. Seven, eight. Like we took like eight total impact damage, and then f and then three decimates. Like that's twenty damage. That's not even unblocked or anything. <laughs> you know, not much to do about that twenty damage. So just found out there's a new League of Legends RPG that Callista is Viego's niece. Huh? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That was not something I was aware of. Okay, so same matchup. We're doing the same kind of thing. Send those back looking for, like, Guiding Touches. See, Star Shaping was, like, the card that we could have maybe drawn at the end of that last game. You know, like, whenever we are drawn, if we would have drawn into Star Shaping to stop the... Um, that other Decimate. Dude, this Poro is, like, going crazy. Okay. So, the Starbone obviously doesn't do anything. It's Equinox or Yordle Ranger. Um, we're, all we're doing to Equinox is probably just like, I mean, maybe Bandle City Mayor or just like get rid of like one keyword, get rid of like an impact or a quick attack, you know. Let's just take this Yordle Ranger. really have a great block. Six damage is so much damage, though. But do I want to just throw away this 2-2 to block Ziggs, and then I challenge Ziggs? Like, I trade both of those for Ziggs? One for you, and one for you. No. Maybe we should play the other Star Spring here and see if they play Poppy, and then if they play Poppy, I play Box of Fuzz. Yeah, yeah, but the big ones are, well, bigger. Look at it go! I don't really mind that. Basically trading the champion spell just for the Loping Telescope. I don't really mind that. Down to ten. I can't wait to see what this one does. <laughs> the star shaping is going to be important. Oh, another Ziggs. That one is a killer. First one I didn't mind so much. That one was a killer. We can attack and make this, um, make this box of even larger. This Yordle Ranger actually is pretty sweet with our 
<laughs> it's a rock attack. It's actually, it's actually pretty sweet. Okay, we need Nexus healing. Cool. A second, you know, a second Nami gives us the Nami champion spell, which can heal our Nexus. So that's good. We're down to seven. I think we go and do this over the star shaping. I think we got this. But I don't know what they what they could have that's gonna do six damage to me with one card. I think we got this. Yeah, they just gotta decimate. That's fine. Okay. GG's. There we go. That was a good game. My loved ones will be safe a while longer. Okay, Gangplank Sedge 20. This is definitely one of the top decks right now. So the thing I like about Hush is gets rid of the overwhelm for the Sedge 20 or the Gangplank, so I kinda wanna keep it. I definitely like Star Spring and Self Damage units. Uh, we're gonna keep those three. It's just this hush whether or not to keep that. Uh, looking at our deck, we don't really play much removal, and so dealing with a Sejuani or a Gangplank looks like it could be really tough. I guess I'm gonna just send it back though, because we we could still have like an Astral Protection, which maybe does a little bit better against them and everything. I'll just send it back. Because we're also talking about, you know, a card that can maybe help us, you know, five, six rounds down the line, and, and that's only still just a maybe. Okay. So we're going to... I think we actually lead with Starspring. So the problem, like, my best play would be lead with Boxtopus, and then next round play Soraka and attack with Soraka. But the problem with that line, and then heal the Boxopus and challenge, the problem with that line is like parlay and make it rain. Like I play Boxopus, they parlay or make it rain, and then my one health Boxopus just dies. And so I think we have to be able to kind of protect that one health Boxopus a little bit somehow. And so that's probably with the Pill Cascade. Nice! Meeks Please says I had an epic Prismatic chest the other day, upgraded to a champion, and walked away with a Prismatic Swain. There you go, that's a good one. I guess we just have to kind of go for it. Hope, hope they don't have multiple ways to do one damage. Cool. Alright, so get rid of one of these. That's good. Maybe I should have just killed the, you know, dealt three to the monkey idol, to be honest. Safety will cost. So that was a good play by them by playing that before attacking, I think. I guess we just block with Soraka. Because I was, if they would have just attacked right away, I would have just probably played, like, Astral Protection on the box plus. Go no further. Yeah, that's me to going down to 11. I guess that's... That's just the way it is. We need to keep Boxtopus alive. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. We need to keep Boxtopus alive. Okay. What's up, Nami? <laughs> so our Star Springs at 8. 8 out of 22. Doing a pretty good job with that. Didn't know for you. 
Okay, I'm gonna just pass here, because I think that this is Monster Harpoon. And so I'm gonna just pass here with Astral Protection. Now we're at 13. If they don't have a champion, we're probably going to win. But if they have a champion, good chance we lose. You know, champions are, are that kind of thing. Hopefully no champion. Could have really used a spell, though, also. Not finding a spell is a little rough. Bow to no one. Yeah, I could have really used a spell. Um, so I think we'll go Sprayfin. Sprayfin, just make sure we draw a spell. Ride onward. That's wrong. Only taking one though. That's not too too bad. All right, now we can fortune croaker. Our road to sixteen. So I don't think they're going to be able to destroy a landmark. I don't think they can kill this Soraka. So actually, I think we got this. I rarely forget. Never forgive. So I respect you, Captain. You still never forgive? Because that's going to be 22. We need to go to 22. So that sounds like a good thing to do. Uh, you can go there. You can go there. Uh, I guess you can just go over there. Alright, 22 out of 22. I'll take my time. The winter's claw endures. The is my we got some cool level up animations though. All right, so just in case. We'll Self-damage some more stuff just in case. And that'll be it. Two and one. Today we have determined our own fate. All right, back to... Oh, this one's Fizz Poppy. So this is the, um, the Bandle Tree version that's not all Bernie. And I think that that's going to be better for us to face the Bandle Tree version. Pill Cascade is the one I'm not so sure about. Obviously, we're going to keep Soraka. Um, you know, do we want to, like, save spell mana, though, and then have, like, an awesome spell? Maybe. Um, which I guess maybe that's even Astral Protection. Uh, yeah, so I could see keeping, like, one of, one of these two spells. Um, they, like, their deck probably goes, like, really wide with, like, two twos. Uh, I'll just keep Astral Protection. That card's awesome. Okay, go towards Nami level or get Star Spring in play. I should probably be getting Star Spring in play. To be honest. I guess the problem with getting Star Spring in play is uh Ravenous Flock? Like I play Soraka, block a 2-2, they flock. Now I don't have Guiding Touch to protect against Flock, at least this round. Alright, so we'll have to block the 1-1 one, one with Impact. Go no further. Potential they have potentially they have two flocks if they're sitting here thinking about it like this. Or they want to use like one right now and then one after. Keep up, keep up. Yeah, 
Yeah, they already had, have had a ton of different regions. Vandal City Mayor card is insane. So they've had Vandal City, Targon, Shurima, Shadow Isles, Noxus, and then also Bellyord. So far. Why are you here? Down to eight. Card would have been useful. Now they have Piltover and Zon. I guess I could play Nami. Well, okay. Save three spell mana. Krusty Codger. I like about playing Krusty Codger is it will uh, enable the Pale Cascade without me having to just like throw away a Guiding Touch or a Astral Protection or anything. You leave me no choice. So before that 5 5, I was kind of planning on attacking. Yeah, I was going to be attacking with the Codger, the 2 4. Finally gonna flock. I guess we'll just play this. Just, uh, just pretend I'm naughty, eh? <laughs> just use ruination. Well, I mean they like they're gonna win off the bandle tree, right? Like so I have to have my Star Spring race the bandle tree, which isn't easy. That's the thing. They've already had PNZ, Demacia, Targon, Sharima, Bandle City. Noxus, Shadow Isles, and Freljord. They've already had, what, eight regions? They've done just a wonderful job with that. Four blockers. So we're at seven out of eight for Nami. This can't get anything that kills a landmark, can it? I don't think so. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Starlight. I think you just take this and go to four. Take heart. Yeah, we did. It's just whether or not to even attempt or try to get to. Well, for this, my people can't wait much longer. I mean, that could be three or five. I mean, so this thing's at 12 right now, so I need 10 more. Yeah, they, they had a perfect hand for um, for this Bandle Tree. They really did, right? Like, they had 
all those regions incredibly fast, plus had Vandal Tree. Like, they, their deck doesn't really go faster than that. So, you know, that's... They won the race, basically. And I just don't have enough ways to self-damage right now. That's my problem. So we're at... We need seven more for Starspring. We're at... You know, like, we almost killed them and almost got Starspring, but just not quite either one. Um... I can't do two damage to my own things. I don't need to do two damage to enemies. I need, need to do two damage to my own things. Okay, so it's at 17. Take heart. Let the tide carry you. So we need five. I just don't have five. I only have one, two, three. I only have three that I can heal. Octopus. Bubble's been down. Let his knee out. Ah, I told your ancestors to protect. So they have to have removal now. Which of course they do. Wait, I can still do this though, right? I still do that to heal too. Now they have to attack for lethal, which they probably could. It's like if they just played, like they still have units and stuff, they just played a unit over the Bandle Tree and then just attacked me. I'm only at seven. I can only, well, let's see, I have four blockers, but then I would have to like get rid of like I'd have to get rid of my 2-2. I would have had to trade that off. I would have had to block with that. So then I wouldn't have healed it end of round, so I wouldn't have won it end of round. Okay, I do really poorly in general against dragons and really in soul dragons whenever I play smaller Targon decks. If you've watched the stream a lot, if you see me play smaller Targon decks, I say that a lot. Like, we we always struggle here in these kind of matchups, so. We'll kind of see how it goes. This would definitely be a very good Star Spring hand. Do I send, like, these things back, even though they say draw a card and just kind of keep this early game, I guess? And try to hit that Star Spring. No, but we got Soraka. Soraka pretty good. Yeah, so Delphinus is in here. Delphinus made this deck. Says, uh, it's been one of my favorite decks to pilot for the last season. And this one's, it's a very original and fun to play. It is, it is. You did a very good job with it, Delphinus. This, this deck's, it is very original and fun to play. To heal and protect. GG's. Okay, so thankfully they have had kind of nothing. They were kind of relying on that with, um, you know, probably a Shivana here now. Let's go and get Mariah Great Mother in play. I don't think we have to hold up Astral Protection or anything, but right, cool. cool. Ooh, I like that. I don't like that. Should I just hush the Screeching Dragon right now? This is the this is the problem with Dragon. The screeching Dragon is too big. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know. Because like right now, like they're gonna attack, they're gonna challenge my box to puss, and then also have another four or five to block with like Soraka. You think it's a waste of a hush to hush the Screeching Dragon? All right, well. Kind of seeing if you, you know, like what kind of spell we can maybe draw from the Great Mother. Uh, 
I don't, even, I don't even know what we do about this, Shivana. If only Vox was still stayed for, you know, for power to challenge. Those two cards are just too hard to beat whenever you're playing small units. You just can't, yeah, can't handle these, so. No removal. GG's. Not much to do here. Just not, <laughs> it's not possible. I hate playing games like that. I really do. Those are my least favorite games that you just have no options the entire time that even make that matter, right? Like we had we had no choices that mattered in that game. It's just they played, you know, those two cards that and then uh, that are just w way too big, and then also have challenger and just kill all of our stuff. Like they they determine like attacking and blocking both ways, and we just there was not a single decision that mattered at all and those are my least favorite games to ever play all right but anyway about the deck uh it overperformed a three and two record probably a little bit better than i was expecting especially whenever we kind of have an auto loss there so really a three and one in like the real games uh definitely a good sign i i liked it quite a bit the star spring looked great in here healing our damaged allies that's how we won um really all three of our games i guess we're on the back of Starspring. Uh, even like the first one wasn't actually the 22 damage from healing from Starspring, but it turning like the Krusty Codger into a 2-3 and healing it, uh, you know, allowed us to be able to block the smaller Bandle City units. And so that was uh, really nice, that over and over. And uh, so Krusty Codger, Boxopus, Fortune Croaker, those things with Starspring all went really well. We really didn't do too much with Nami. Um, yeah, we really didn't at all. Like, you know, like the... We didn't. We never leveled up a Nami, but we did have. We did get like the plus one, plus zero bonuses, but they didn't really matter because we were just Star Spring. So we we're just Star Spring Soraka, Bilgewater. Bilgewater is you know great with these self damage things with those, and that was just kind of the backbone of our deck. Um, so the question was, was Nami better than Tom Kench would have been? I don't. I don't know. Maybe not actually. Maybe not for us. Maybe, but it's you know it's it's something a little a little different. You know, it's very similar to the Tom Kench version, but just a little different for those y'all that want to play a Soraka deck that's not uh, Tom Kench. It's a little different. So, all right. Anyway, that's gonna. Be, oh, I guess the one thing that Nami did do actually, I should I should mention this. The one the one really good thing that Nami did for us was the champion spell was awesome. You know, whenever we had one Nami in play, this helped out multiple games of like have a Nami in play and then get the champion spell with ebb and then flow and ebb and flow especially the you know like these two like that was awesome like you know that's not only awesome with uh star spring and soraka but then it was awesome healing our nexus to help us stay alive against the burn decks that we're facing so nami's champion spell was honestly really really good and so that that was something that was a big plus to nami all right but anyway that's going to be it for soraka nami so those y'all watching later on youtube Hit that like button and leave those comments, and hopefully y'all enjoyed uh, just something a little different with Soraka. Let us know in the comment section. But uh, anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.